Hello, I'm Jonathan, and today I have a video for you of how to install the full i86 uh, version of MS Office 2010 Pro Plus and how I got it to work with my Asus ARM Chromebook. The hardware I have is, uh, as you can see here, is the Chromebook Flip 10.1 inch, and I bought it a few months back on Amazon just to kind of check out what uh, Chromebooks were capable of. So to get the setup set, uh, so I could have my own Linux uh, installed on it, I use Crouton, uh, which requires you to be in developer mode. Uh, there's a link down here uh, where you can go if you aren't sure how to do that or haven't done that yet. And then to install Crouton, uh, if you go to the GitHub site, it lists the instructions, tells you about what it is, what it does, um, prerequisites, and then some easy steps here of what you need to do to install uh, Crouton. So if you go to, uh, uh, once you get the developer mode, you can get um, this uh, computer control alt T. It'll take you to a crash, and I'll get into shell. And then from there, uh, I'll uh, to install it, you execute basically the sudo sh crouton, and then you have your options. For me, since it's a touch screen, I had touch, uh, along with the XFCE desktop. And then the XIWI allows you to also run it in Windows uh, mode. Uh, for optimal performance, I'd say that probably go with extension instead of XIWI um, because the full screen mode seems to work a little faster. The only downside to that is you can't screen capture uh, with a utility in the Chromebook side that I'm like using right now with Nimbus. Um, but um, so it's kind of a trade off if you want it faster or uh, in um, MS Office. Or startup and whatnot versus um, the functionality of being able to do a screen capture on the uh, Linux side. I also installed Trusty and then just waited patiently while that started up. And once it's uh, finished installing, then you just type sudo start xsce. If uh, you're using Ubuntu or something else, then uh, it'll be start. Uh, whatever the version or flavor is, if it's Unity or whatnot uh, for that. And then I encrypted it as well. So what that does is try to make it just a little more secure uh, for the image. And since I'm running developer mode and uh, let me get it started here. So once you have this set up, you now have an uh, a Linux desktop that's running on the ARM processor and so you can compile anything for an ARM processor. So some of the apps I have you can see Firefox, uh, Calibre. The only downside is is Chromebook only has 16 gigabytes of memory, so you are limited on the space available. Uh, you can put a CH root to a SD card, so that might give you a little more space. Um, but now that you have this, now the, the, the next part of what needs to be uh, set up is EXA gear. Now QM is another option, uh, it's free. The downside with QM is uh, the speed. This uh, XA gear is, uh, now on their website, so they say five times faster. Um, and so I try, I went with this because uh, QM was uh, most people that got it to work, or anybody that got it to work, I never found someone that said that it was usable. So I went to their website. Um, as you can see, it's an application, or it's a layer between 86 code. I went to other, and then your, your ARM processor. And I went and purchased the uh, ARM 7 version. Uh, they'll email you then the files you need to install. Uh, it comes with a, a PDF on the version uh, 1.4. That's a very good guide on, on how to get it installed. There's an auto install, but for me, I, it, that didn't work. So I went through the manual install um, and just uh, got it set up. The only caveat is that uh, with their instructions is that um, the Chromebook kernel doesn't support 
this SUID and SGID binaries. Uh, to get that to work, you have to um, compile a new kernel, and I just didn't have that uh, capacity or time. So the workaround I use is if I need to use sudo in the guest system, the I80, or the 86 system, x86 system, I launch xa gear as root with sudo, and uh, and then if if I don't need to be root, I just uh, launch xa gear normally without that. So once that's started, we then go into wine and play on Linux. So here uh, I put the xa gear. Uh, on my dock down there, but uh, if you look, uh, I start up a command terminal. I'm on an ARM processor, and then I just XA gear start that up. It is now now I'm running a command terminal on a 686. So from here, I can now install Wine and play for or play on Linux. So I went to uh, just the Wine website on their wiki there. I didn't have to worry about the 64-bit, but had these three lines of code to uh, load the repository, update the packages, and then install it. And I installed the uh, Wine HQ staging uh, version. So I did those three commands there. And that allowed me then to have wine version 1.9.9 staging set up. The next uh, piece is I uh, use Play on Linux because it has a lot of the patches and stuff automatically set up and just makes installing uh, an application on wine, especially something as big as uh, MS Office, uh, go better. So uh, I went to their home page, went to Play on Linux download, went to their download page where they have some instructions for your particular flavor of uh, Linux. And I went to trusty and I uh, executed these four commands here, which are the four commands uh, at the bottom here. And uh, that went, I uh, didn't have any issues with that. And then once that is uh, set up, I then went ahead and executed play on Linux. So, um, one thing to note, Play on Linux has to be run as a user, not as root. So I had to, if uh, when you install all those and run those executable sudo commands to install stuff, you need to have the uh, XA gear guest system in root. So you just I typed in sudo uh, exa gear to load that up, and then, uh, but then to run Play on Linux, I then had to exit out of the i86 or the x86 terminal. And uh, and get back to get back to a normal user mode. So um, so here there's an error for some reason. Just I think it's the way Crouton set up it, but it's not not a game stopper. It seems to work fine. Um, I haven't had any issues. So you can see here I got my Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Word already installed. Um, if I come up here to the menu, um, it puts icons there as well, but they don't work because you need to run it through EXA gear and these. Uh, don't allow that as of yet. I might. There may be a way around that. I just haven't figured that out. More seamless uh, setup. So to actually install it now, um, go to install, and they have a auto installer down here for MS Office 2010. I also had to app get um, another package for this installer to work. Um, so go ahead and do that, and then just come back. Uh, you know, exit out of uh, Play on Linux, uh, do the app get of that uh, package that you required, and then uh, come back here. And this took uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes to install. Um, didn't have any issues. And uh, I'd also tried to install it as a non listed program just to see if I could do it without having to use um, this uh, automatic setup. But that didn't work. That about halfway through um, two different ways I tried to set it up, and it, it just uh, it aired out with a with an error. So ultimately, once that's finished, uh, I had Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Word. And so we'll go ahead and open up Word here, give you an idea of the speed that it runs at. Now it does take you know a little bit of time to set up, 
what I've found overall. I've been pleased with the, the speed. Again, it's this uh, FS check error, but um, I haven't, I'm not sure why it does that and haven't noticed it, but it hasn't been an issue. So I just uh, click it and continue on. But like I was saying, the speed, once, uh, once words open, it's uh, pretty fairly usable. And uh, um, I have been pleased with the results. And like I was mentioning before, I think if, uh, if I didn't have it in this window mode, I think it actually runs a little better in Crouton when uh, you don't have the X I W uh, I extension uh, option installed, but you have the or you have the extension installed instead for the dash T option when you're doing the Crouton install. But um, again, I uh, for the purpose of this screencast, I have to have I have to have it in window mode, and that may be what's uh, slowing it down as well maybe maxing out the uh, the processor here. Of all the applications, I have not used Outlook yet. Um, OneNote does uh, work as well, um, but it doesn't uh, sync with the OneDrive, so I'm unable to sync with my OneDrive notebooks. But if you have a OneNote file, it works fine. So here, So I have done a few uh, lesson plans uh, with Word and uh, inputting some graphics and uh, uh, let's see if I go insert. I can also use, since it's a touch screen I have here with this um, setup, I can insert pictures and that's worked well. I have synced it, uh, the OneDrive, actually the drive. Um, and so if I throw some uh, pictures on OneDrive from my phone, um, I can, let's see. I go documents, have my OneDrive file here and go pictures. Don't have any right now, but if I did, I could insert those and that's worked fairly well. Um, and then also, um, if I wanted to file, save as. So not, not super speedy, but again, not too slow and this, uh, the only other caveat too is I've noticed is that all my external media, whether it's my SD card or my USB drive, does not uh, show up in this. Uh, I can't see it from this directory structure. Um, again, there may be some wine way to, to, to work around that. But if I go here um, and go to my root directory and I go to like media, um, there's just nothing there. So everything has to be stored to my uh, Chromebook. So if you're working with like a lot of huge files they have to store, um, you'll have to move a few over from your USB drive uh, to the basically the desktop before you can uh, see them. Or if you wanted, like I did, is I, I synced them through OneDrive there. Um, that's another way of uh, doing that. Uh, let's see. So hopefully, uh, gives you an idea of how well I've used uh, Excel and PowerPoint and they both work uh, rather well. Um, so hopefully that gives everybody an idea of how, how to run MS Office on your ARM Chromebook. Have a uh, wonderful afternoon.